Hello, and welcome to ATP Report. I'm Barry Nussbaum. We have a serious and sober discussion today. It's about the horrific massacre in Uvalde, Texas. Our associate and friend of ATP, Will Johnson, is driven all the way down to the scene. He's joining us now, right in front of the school where it all went down a few days ago. Welcome, Will. You know, you made an interesting point, and you mentioned this isn't a time for politics. But one person in Texas made it all about politics, and I'm speaking about our favorite Irishman turned Hispanic, uh, Beto O'Rourke, who crashed the first public gathering. Uh, it was an event put together by Governor Abbott, uh, Lieutenant Governor Patrick. They had uh, police. They had parents whose children had been uh, victims, and it was a very somber uh, gathering and Beto O'Rourke ran in in the middle of it with cameras on him to yell at the politicians blaming them for what happened. Now, I've read a number of polls in the last two days that say uh, his public display of uh, insensitivity has crushed him in the polls. Um, do you get any sense of that down there? Y you know, I actually was able to talk to the mayor of Uvalde, and he was the one that was on the stage and telling Beto, sir, not the time is not now, end up calling him, you know, a, a foul name because he, he showed up for this for this press conference trying to politicize the death of these children, which is the wrong time to do this. If anything, he should have been trying to say, hey, I would like to sit down and, and have discussion with you about doing this. Beto O'Rourke is just an avid, he's, a, he's an activist right now. He's not even a politician. He has no position in anything. He just has a campaign and his campaign should be getting crushed by this. One thing a lot of people don't know is that after his whole episode of him confronting Abbott, he actually went to the homes of the deceased. He went to each, tried to go to each one of their homes to try to give like support and to make it look like that he is there for them. I mean, the time for politics, I get it, but this is not the time. Right now, you need to allow the parents to grieve. And, and that grieving period for the parents would never end. I don't care how long, the pain will always be there. And for him to not even allow the smoke to settle, for him to show up at their homes, and he's not even in, in any position of authority of anything to politicize this for himself, she should truly be ashamed of himself. 